Hi folks. Well, I got my work cut out for me. Got some of these uh, power packs. They're all, they're all recycled. eBay item. Bulk. A bulk order here. They're all used. Basically stating that they were no good. So, uh, I'm going to take them and see what I can do with them. I've started the process and there's a lot. There's nine cells per per pack here and I couldn't tell you how many packs are left. But I got it started. It was right full to the top. So I'm you know, about a four inch here. You know, so I maybe took apart two and three. So say four. Oh, I imagine 30 of them or so, so far. And here's the uh, results. Some of them, they have this goop on the inside of them and the actual cover on the outside, the blue cover you see, peels off. And then the ground itself is exposed, so I just um, I keep the cap on there and a little spacer in there that keeps it from having any kind of contact with the ground because the outside body as the bottom side here is the negative but basically the whole battery is the negative so you don't want to have that exposed at least I don't anyhow so I uh, wrapped it back up with just electrical tape it was the cheapest cheapest way of going I could have used uh, I guess uh, I suppose some kind of uh, heat shrink material heat shrink tube and put it over the battery and put some heat to it and shrink it back up but I, I use electrical tape and what I'm going to do is end up making a pack a battery pack pretty large one at that probably about a thousand cell pack roughly I might be wrong on that could be 700 but in around there I have to find out how many good cells I have and how consistent they are with each other you know capacity and whatnot so these are the stages so far that I'm going through. Each one of these containers represents something different. These ones here are fully charged. And these ones here are basically two together. I'm not going to separate them. It's nicely, nicely together, two of them. They have a little plastic insert that's uh, they're basically glued to two side by side here. So I'm going to keep them in that order, and it's not going to be an issue charging them or discharging them. As the charger, I can just put it in this way or this way. I'm basically discharging and charging one cell at a time is what I'm doing. And this side here are individuals. Which I haven't went through any of these as far as discharging them or charging them I've just removed them from the pack and that's where they stay these ones here are in a discharge state <clears throat> to the level that I want to bring them down to in discharge and these ones here are basically unknown so I need to go through all them yet to find out exactly what's going on with these ones it's gonna be a long process no doubt about that one and I'm in definitely no hurry to complete it all. I'm just kind of pecking away at it in my spare time. And out of all of them so far, these are the only ones I have actually in charge state. So I'll just slide that back underneath there. They're all the same cells. That's why I like it. I'm not mix matching cells up. I'm using all the same exact cells. And that's what makes it so nice. There's another little one with different cells and stuff in it, some of the flashlights and whatnot, but I don't want to start mixing up cells as soon as it gives me some grief and I'm just not interested in not interested in finding that grief out. So I want to go with exactly the same cells, which all these ones here, that's exactly what they are. They're all the same. So that's the beauty of it. I have to break them all apart and uh Yeah. Let me break one apart here and show you how I do it. 
I basically just grab a hold of it and I twist it. It's a little bit complicated because I have the camera between my kneecaps. So let me come up here where I can get some more strength. There we go. Just give it a good twist and it basically separates itself. And that's the size of it. I'm just rough with it at the moment. And then I'll take some pliers and fine tune the tabs that are on here. Some of them are pointy and jagged and they'll stick in your finger and cut you, poke you, and make you bleed. And this one here, oh there's that goop. There's that goop. So I have to scrape all them, all that goop off of there. Some kind of sealant or silicone or I'm not really sure what it is. It just sticks it to the pack. Keeps them nice and tight within the pack. You can see here, so I have a tab here. I'll take some pliers later and I'll clean all this, these tabbings up. Pull them off. Clean the battery up. And then go through the rest of the process. And here's another one of these double double batteries. Sometimes I'm not successful of taking them out as a double and sometimes I am. Sometimes I use a knife to cut that uh, goop. But I'm just giving an example here how I remove these from the pack. Kind of rough really. Nothing too cautious. There's more tabs stuck on there. I'll go through there and pull all these little pieces of tape off and clean them up and dispose of this stuff where it goes. End up recycling these little circuit boards. I'll hold them back and I'll put them all in the container themselves and bring them to the recycling place and they can do what they want with them. And the plastic, the same thing. Plastic will be recycled. You kind of want to be careful if anybody gets these packs because if you do short them out and you don't catch it they can get pretty warm and that's probably a danger sign so you might want to keep that in mind so far I haven't experienced it yet there's always that possible chance though of it happening so you might want to be careful if you're going to dismantle packs like I'm doing here. It's definitely do it at your own risk. Do it at your own harms and hurts and all the rest of it. Another double one. There's two double ones to, per pack here. And these little tabs here are extremely sharp. They will jab into your and pierce your skin without hesitation. Gloves might be recommended. I don't really like using gloves all that much because I have a hard time working with them and my hands are really, really big. And I have a hard time um, finding gloves that fit me good, really. This is where I would use a knife and I would kind of cut that goop out. But I don't have a knife beside me, so I might just leave this one alone. There we go. 
Well, there we have it. It's not quite finished yet. Need to clean them all up. Organize them, separate them, discharge them, charge them. You know, do the necessary things that I need to do to get myself my pack. And once I'm all said and done, it's probably going to be a 14 volt pack. I may go to 15 volts. I'm going to have to do some calculations. 3.7 volts times however many I want. And then use the uh, series and parallel effect and build up my bank. Some of them may be no good. So far, they've uh, all been good. I haven't had any bad ones yet, except for these unknown ones. I'm unsure what these ones are like. There could be some bad ones in this pile. I'm not sure. But so far, I haven't detected any ones that were bad. I haven't detected any ones that were overcharged. And I haven't detected any that were uh, flat dead. As far as just being drained out, perhaps being a bad battery. But in these packs, for some reason they weren't supporting they weren't supporting the need that they were used for and I don't know what they were used for I don't really care what they were used for the time I'm finished with them they won't even look like this but uh, there's the pack anyway 10.8 volt lithium ion battery and they call it solutions for portable power I couldn't even begin to guess of what these actually powered. Uh, alrighty, well, thank you for watching. I'm going to get started with taking some of these packs apart. And you got the idea from that one pack I demolished. Pretty much just aggressive with it. And with uh, being aggressive towards something, well, sometimes you get hurt. Subscribe if you have not.